What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a tweak called Fancy. Now, Fancy was a highly anticipated tweak that just came out yesterday, in fact, and it has some bugs. And one thing to mention before I actually get into this is I discovered by a Reddit comment that the developer actually doesn't update his tweaks very often. And, I mean, that's something to keep in mind when going through this because I've found a total of four bugs in this tweak. Now it's a really cool tweak. It allows you to change the colors of the tent globally. So it's going to change up your control center here, notification center. I mean, it's going to change that all up, but there are some bugs and I'm going to show you those bugs in this video. So let's go down here and check this out. We're going to go into fancy. So right here we have the kill switch right here so you can enable or disable it. Right here we have the global tint. Now this is going to change the color of everything on your device including your banners, notification center, control center, dock, HUDs, spotlight, assistant, keyboard, and lock screen. Now if we toggle this on, you can set your global tint color right here. So let's say we wanted to change it to a pink color just for fun. So now we're gonna swipe up and you have a pink color. And if we swipe down on the notification center, you're gonna get that pink color there. Now this is going to work everywhere, even including the dock right there, as well as the spotlight, everything that I mentioned before. Now, one thing that you wanna keep in mind, first of all, is these are supposed to be custom overrides. So you should be able to set your global tint color to all pink, and then go down here and let's say I want my notification center to be green. So it's green right now, let's do it a little darker green. We're gonna save the changes and we bring it down, it's still pink. And that's because the custom overrides don't actually work as intended. What you have to do is turn off global tint and then let's say you want everything to be red except for the notification center and you want it to be green. What you actually have to do is turn off global tint, set everything to red and then set your notification center to green. So, I mean, you can see here that this is the control center. This is the notification center. Also, another thing that really bothers me for some reason is swiping up on the control center works really fine, but you're gonna see down here, when I start to slide down on the control center, it's gonna go completely see-through right at the bottom, as you can see right there. So if I start to go through, and for some reason that just really bugs me. I don't know if it bugs anybody else. This was actually, I mean, if you watch any of the fancy videos, that's up right now the reviews of them you're gonna see this but it's never really mentioned so that's just something that bugged me right off the bat I've also had a few instances where I've changed the global tint color and it hasn't saved but that's not really that big of a deal you just go back in and change it up as well as the app crashing every once in a while but that's not really that big of a deal either so once you change this up and you have it the way you want it you probably don't need to change it all that much so really, I mean, these bugs aren't that big of a deal. The only thing that I would keep in mind is that he doesn't update his tweaks very often, so these bugs might not be fixed. So just keep that in mind. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. All right, guys, until next time, peace.